Welcome back to the Rocks Revenant Heart channel. This is, uh, I think, the fifth or sixth video in the series. Uh, hopefully, don't get out of order as I go to upload them. Um, it's a long night. I got some hours to kill, so I'm really enjoying my look tonight. I'm enjoying my setup, so I'm continuing to talk. I'm continuing to bang out topics. I'm hoping that this whole YouTube thing isn't just going to be a challenge to come up with a new topic every day. But what else am I supposed to do? Record. My notepad of topics was destroyed, so I am kind of winging all topics anyway. Which, something I do anyway. I put all these ideas down and I end up not using any of them. I end up just winging it anyway. So, I've talked a lot of interesting things tonight about... You know, being shy, being unworthy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, being too ugly and unapproachable from my career paths, financially stable. Am I worthy because I'm not fan financially stable? Am I worthy because I have ambition, goals? I don't know. It seems like that's kind of the topic of tonight is just the, the things that make you worthy of somebody, of a relationship. Um... And how I feel about them and being myself and reference to myself or whatever so I don't know <laughs> my last video was what am I doing with my life and I couldn't answer that question too well trying to live trying to survive right trying to talk to my future self whatever leaving my legacy is what my life is about and that's what these videos are about. Uploading to the internet who I am, what I'm about, all that kind of thing. Hopefully to start some conversation. That's really the true purpose here. Is that I'm just trying to have some conversation. I spend a lot of my time alone. A lot of my time in the studio. This is kind of my way of talking out there versus in here. Oh, the hair sticking to everything. It's getting a little hot up in here. Forgive me. But I'm here. I'm still filming and the camera's still rolling. Why? I don't know. I got a few hours to kill and I'm feeling good about myself. So, uh, some of the things that make me feel whether I'm worthy or not, whether you're worthy or not. I mean, what makes a person worthy? What makes a person attractive? ugly or attractive I'm not really going covering too much the ugly side of things right now I think I'm that, that falls maybe under hate stone or something I don't know <laughs> I'm kind of not in the mood to just discuss the negatives I'm uh, I'm kind of more focused on the positive stuff going on I do have a lot of neat things I, I am focused on so I'm kind of showcasing those tonight uh, What's kind of funny about this series is I, I wanted to bring up what it what I have to offer, right? I've already talked about ambition and goals and creative projects, uh, being a jack of all, master of none. Um, but what more can I talk about when it comes to being worthy of somebody? Well, I feel that I relate to women more so than men so I do get along with both but uh I, I I I would say I'm more feminist mindset or at least I I kind of know a little bit more about the female mind than the average guy would I've been in their shoes I've been uh and I'll get more into that later but uh, I've grown up around mostly women I've you know all that so I have a better understanding but that doesn't mean I understand um, so I'm trying to understand which might be what this video is about I don't know the idea of what makes me worthy not just financially and career and all that stuff but in my own personal development my own personal growth in say relationship ten years ago I would say I was uh, I wasn't very focused <laughs> uh, in a relationship I kind of I just thought uh, it, you do what you're supposed to do and and carry on with that 
uh, once you, you know, I thought I found my soulmate, and I started a life with them and had my children with them, and because it felt like such a strong soulmate level uh, bond that I thought it could never end, and I was wrong. I was wrong because there are things, as I mentioned in previous video, uh, that I brought to the table that could have been overwhelming. Maybe I'm coming on too strong with all these creative things, uh, all these pursuits, and not focused on the relationship itself. I don't know. I never really got a full level of clarification on, on the fall of that. It was the love of my life. It was soulmate level bond. It has left me rendered shattered, ruined, destroyed, and now rebuilding, which is what this is all about. Healing and rebuilding the rocks, Revan heart, the risen heart. I've got to bounce back. I've got to heal and I've got to get strong. So I am worthy of someone going forward. I haven't 100% given up on my past relationship, on my soulmate, as because I believe in an oath I left. Uh, an oath is my word, it's my bond, it's what I hold myself to. Not a lot of people nowadays do uphold their oath. Wedding vows, I uphold those to this day, even after divorce, I am hold, upholding my wedding vows to that same person because those vow, yeah, those vows were on a spiritual level. They weren't just limited to the flesh of this earth realm. I promised this person that I will take care of them through this life and the next, pursue them through this life and the next. That doesn't mean I need to go all creeper, stalker level, post breakup and all that. That's not what that means. It means I bonded my soul to their soul one way or another. I'm going to continue my journey with them from this life to the next life and beyond. When a rocks bonds to you, we bond deep. But that doesn't mean we go psycho at the point of breakup. I understand that sometimes things just don't work out. People have different ideas, different paths they choose, and a different approach to those things. Doesn't mean I have to make an enemy of a fallen lover. I love this person. I give this person my life, and I'll lay down my life for this person to this day. As I hope the same in trade. But, are you stuck with just one soulmate in life? I've heard you get three. I don't know what the true number is. I don't, I'm, I'm currently trying to decide whether or not it can be more than one. I'm, for my sake, I really hope so because uh, I don't know where I fall with that one. And I'm not going to continue to pursue things and make things weird and you know ruin whatever's left of it I still love this person and we're still good friends we still get along we still do everything together I don't even know if there's a relationship or not that has really changed too much other than pursuing other lover in, in the mix or whatever uh, I'm not hung up I try not to take that baggage with me you gotta let a lot of that go. I mean, to move on to another relationship, you have gotta be able to let some of that go. So what I bring to the table for a continued relationship or a new relationship is an understanding to communicate with my partners. I understand uh, a lot of what it takes to kind of make things work as long as it's not pursuing things too hard and overwhelming somebody. Uh, for me, I should probably continue this topic in the next video, but romance. 
I consider myself worthy of someone because I consider myself a deeply emotional and romantic person. Have I pursued all my creative ideas in romance? Hell no. Hell no am I limiting myself to just the things I've already experienced in that department. I haven't even scratched the surface of what I'm capable of romantically. I was just learning before things came to a end. I was just starting to get it before things came to an end. So now I have a whole plethora of new ideas. So stay tuned to the next video. I'll go into that.